Raise your hand if you're tired. Raise your hand if you're unmotivated. Raise your hand if you're angry, upset, irritated, sad, confused. See, I'm a teacher, but I'm a human being as well. And sometimes when I'm responsible for 30 some odd children, teenagers, young adults in a classroom, I can experience these emotions as well. Today, this video is gonna be a little bit different. Today I've decided to indulge in the React community of YouTube. And I'm going to be reacting to a series of videos of substitute teachers or permanent teachers having meltdowns in the class with their students. And sometimes it's the teacher getting upset and sometimes it's the student getting upset. If you wanna find out more, keep watching the video. Before we see this first video, I wanna remind you to like the video if you enjoy it comment in the section below, feel free to subscribe, it's free, and turn on the bell, and that will give you notifications about when I release new content, which happens to be every few days. Because my primary demographic is high school students, let's make one thing clear before this video starts. I'm reacting to these videos as a teacher. I'm gonna react, and then I'm gonna provide a little bit of commentary about what I think regarding the situation, and maybe some advice for you or other teachers, given the context of the situation. When this video was first uploaded to YouTube, it was titled, Crazy Substitute Teacher. Let's check it out. So first of all, they're recording this video incorrectly. But maybe you don't have good sense because you're sitting here arguing with me and you're not. Okay, making raising me her mad, voice. And I'm gonna send you to Approaching the you don't proximity. Shut up. Whoa, yelling. Yikes. <laughs> that does it. There is severe animosity between student and teacher, especially with his comments about her tweaking. Mister I am serious. I hope Wipe that she that doesn't smirk off your No, face don't say that. That's not gonna help anybody. And the video's over. Let's talk about what we just saw in that first video. From a teacher's perspective, I think it's safe to say, given that we don't know the context of the situation, and as a note to all students, don't try to escalate fights with your teacher. Teachers are human beings, and when you engage in behavior that's meant to escalate, annoy, irritate to the point that they're now raging, no one is going to make a good decision in this situation. All of that commentary applies to teachers as well. You shouldn't be walking up to students, yelling in their face, belittling them, screaming at them, potentially spitting on them. That doesn't help anything. You're just gonna escalate the situation further and someone's going to make a bad choice. The bottom line is we should all be treating each other with respect and dignity. We're all human beings. Simple as that. So the next video that we're looking at is titled Angry little kid yells at teacher to shut up at preschool graduation. This is cute. There's music and their hats and they're graduating. Good afternoon, parents. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Shut the f up. Hey. Hey. Not nice. No, thank you. No, thank you. Do you need to leave? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, oh my gosh. You can't say that! Let's talk about what we saw in video two. I have to say, that teacher, she's professional. Amazing job with keeping your cool. Being told to shut up by anyone, shut regardless up! of their age, especially with swear words, can be incredibly aggravating. I'm surprised that she kept her cool there. I think waiting for the parents to remove the child from the situation was the best possible choice that she could have made. If there's any parents watching this right now, this is a little side note for you. Be careful about what you say around your kids and allow them to watch on TV or the internet. As we saw, those were kindergarten kids. They were just graduating preschool and they were using some pretty vulgar language. They pick up on things pretty quickly. Okay, this next video is called Kid Physically Threatens His Teacher for not rounding his grade from a 43 to a 70. I stopped Okay, so immediate you do not come fighting. Up to me, Dr. Shu. Get my Whoa, face. language. All right. You go sit down. What what did you like? Why you pulled him off? You go sit down, all right? You you not come up to me like that? Who the f you take you off? 
please. Yeah, twitch your little face. Turn around and raise your fist like that, Dr. Shu. Do it what again. What a tough guy. I'm not playing. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Shut up to me and do that to me. I'll do it to you. Dude. All right. Go sit down. Shut your mouth. Tell me. Who the it looks like there's another teacher in the room, too. Yo, don't break school property. <laughs> and now you're gonna make the custodian's job harder? Alright. Class act, dude. Oh, he's coming back. Whoever is telling him to get out, that's the smartest thing about this video. Wow. That was intense. Video three. What do I have to say about this? I mean, obviously the student's behavior is completely unacceptable. We don't really know what happened prior to the video, but let's talk about a scientific phenomenon called amygdala hijack. Usually a person's emotional response to an event is in tune and in sync with whatever it is that happened. In this situation, the person's emotional response was immediate, it was overwhelming, and it was completely out of sync given the context of the situation. It looked like the teacher was asking the student to stop talking. And how did they respond? They were yelling, they were swearing, they were physical, they broke property, and they had to be asked to leave. You see, the amygdala is the part of your brain that's responsible for giving your emotions meaning. It's capable of triggering the fight or flight response, which you've probably heard of. This releases stress hormones throughout your body and prepares it to fight something or someone off or to cause you to run away. And usually this response is triggered as a result of various emotions, things like fear, anxiety, aggression, and anger. Let's do our best to kind of assume the situation or the context of the video. Perhaps the student had been asked repeatedly to stop talking. Perhaps the student doesn't have a good relationship with the teacher to begin with. Perhaps something is going on in the student's life that's causing them to act aggressively towards the teacher. All three of these different contexts could be brought together and cause the amygdala to hijack the fight or flight response. Remember, we don't really know anything about the relationship between the student and the teacher, but what I can say is that the teacher did a great job at not fighting back with the student. He didn't encourage the behavior, he asked him to stop, the whole thing was filmed, and it was very clear that the teacher wasn't instigating any further acts of aggression from the student. As bonkers as this sounds, I have to give a little bit of credit to the student. He's being immature, he was being irresponsible, and he did technically break school property, and then it looked like he threw it at the teacher, which is not okay, don't do that. But over time, it seemed that his emotions were slightly calming down, and he even complied with the request of the girl who was recording the video. She asked him to leave, and it looked like he was leaving. The last video that I have for you today is called Texas Substitute Teacher Has a Meltdown. But I am sure disgusted okay, the so there's proximity, no they're close, she's yelling at him. He doesn't seem to really yourself. be reacting at this point. And wearing this doesn't make you wonder. Whoa, did she just touch him? If you, if, uh, well, let's not go there, but you know what? It says be obedient, doesn't it? I heard and a comment about religion. Obedient. I don't like the obedient word you at all. You are not being obedient. That's no, stop. Don't dive into it. You are not. Stop. Please, stop. Oh, the students are chiming in. She's panicking. Now she's in an argument with the whole class. Oh, no. Did she just leave? Did she walk out? In this last video, I can say surely that even though I don't really know what happened before this situation, the teacher is kind of in the wrong here. They did a lot of things in the video that I would recommend never doing. For example, don't ever touch a student, don't ever grab one of their personal belongings, especially if it's wrapped around their neck. 
Don't ever insult someone's personal beliefs, for example, like their religion. These are all bad ideas. I don't think that this teacher is inherently a bad person. I think they just made some bad choices. One thing that I will say about this type of video, and all of these videos that we've seen thus far, is that typically, video recording only seems to start once the behavior has escalated. And that kind of puts both the students and the teachers in an awkward spot. We don't really know who's at fault here. And I think that given the context of what we saw, the teacher did make bad choices. However, these could have been instigated by a classroom effort of like mean-spirited behavior. We don't know. My advice is very similar to what I said before. Respect and dignity for all people, for everyone in the classroom. Everyone has to be there, so it just makes sense to treat each other fairly and with kindness. That's it. The last thing that I have to say to you, my main demographic, high school students, is this. I'm a teacher, but I'm also a human being. And I can stand on this pedestal, and I can judge these videos, and make comments about what went wrong, what should have happened, and the bad ideas that took place. But the problem with that is that any of us, both teacher and student, can end up in one of those YouTube videos very quickly. All it takes is a little bit of escalation, and amygdala hijack takes over. The bottom line is, be good to people, and treat each other the way that you want to be treated. That's all I got for you today. Mr. Dobson, out.